For me, living in a tiny house is a really cool opportunity to reduce my environmental impact and carbon footprint. My name is Nathaniel Graff, and I live in a tiny home in Swarthmore, Pennsylvania. The mayor of Swarthmore and his family actually built this tiny house. The initial plan was that I would move in for one to two months as a guinea pig to try it out, and I found that the house really worked out well for me, so I've continued living here. Despite being a tiny house, it doesn't feel cramped at all. The A-frame ceilings are really give a sense of size. There's lots of natural lighting, which is energy efficient. I work at the Office of Sustainability at Swarthmore College. Living in a tiny house comes with a bunch of opportunities for reducing one's carbon footprint. Most of my electric power comes from the two solar panels up there. Living in a smaller space means it takes less energy to heat up. So this is a heating system designed for a boat. So this is my super space efficient refrigerator, which works really well. Also doubles as shelving or sitting. A lot of the space is really adjustable and like everything's super compact. I have space um, where I can have a table. I have shelving space and doubles as a little bit of a standing desk. This actually wasn't here when I first moved in. Since I was a little bit of a guinea pig after they designed the house to see what it was actually like to live here in practice, so they kindly installed this extra shelf and bar. And up here is the loft. This is my sleeping space. And for a tiny house, a lot of space to spread out, too. I get to sleep directly below the moon and stars at night. There's a skylight to the kitchen here, which gets extra light down there. I do have an extra space heater. Here it's a little bit more efficient since heat rises to just heat the space directly rather than the entire house. And underneath the loft is the kitchen space. When I have time to cook, there's lots of space to spread out. The dual burners work great. The natural lighting is lovely. This is my water system. It's actually hooked up to a neighbor's hose. Down here, this is a water tank for when there's a risk of freezing. This gives me a couple days worth of storage. This is my storage space. Instead of going out and purchasing shelves, I had some extra cardboard laying around, so I have my own free zero carbon storage unit. So this is the bathroom. I have my super tiny shower. The shower is in this uh, metal bin and the drain goes directly to the ground. This is the composting toilet. As a student, I worked on the Trash to Treasure program where we took the things that students left behind when they moved up and we organized them for a large yard sale. Seeing the sheer quantity of things that students learned that they actually really didn't need highlighted for me the degree to which the human mind is really not very good at evaluating whether or not having something will actually make us happier or not. Living in a tiny house has taught me that I can live without a lot of space and a lot of stuff, and I'd really like to continue doing so in the future.